Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Uh, we're not quite finished with all the uniques, so we've still got some ways to go. And, uh, and I do plan to do every single one. Uh, today we are going to be looking at the Spirit Shroud Ghost Armor. The Spirit Shroud Ghost Armor is actually a pretty sweet piece of kit that a lot of people overlook in favor of other armors like Duriel Shell. But it does stack up against Duriel Shell quite nicely, and if you follow along with me, I think you'll agree. Uh, so right off the bat, you'll see that it has 295 defense, which is not bad, uh, for level 28. And it does have a strength requirement of only 38, which is very low. It is plus one to skills, where Duriel Shell is not. Um, it has a very nice 150% enhanced defense, which does sta stay static. Uh, there's no variable on that. Uh, we also have a nice Replenish Life plus 10, which will help you out very well. Um, it does not help out mercenaries, though. Um, magic damage reduced by 11 is also very, very sexy and uh, will help you out quite a bit, especially if you're an energy shield sorceress. And then on top of that, we have a very nice cannot be frozen effect on this, which uh, basically makes it so that either you or your mercenary can, uh, you know, obviously not worry about being chilled um, or frozen for that matter. <laughs> not that players can be frozen, but uh, I believe your mercenary actually can. I've, I've seen a mercenary shatter before. It's, uh, it's rare, but I, I, I distinctly remember mercenaries actually shattering on occasion. Um, you can also find this in the ethereal form, of course, with a uh, nice boost to its defense. So instead of uh, 295, we're looking at 442, and, um, and only a strength requirement of 28, so absolutely incredibly low. Uh, this is actually a really good choice for a low-level Act 3 mercenary, believe it or not, because you get the plus one to skills, the cannot be frozen, um, and the magic damage reduced by, which will help keep him alive. Um, it doesn't have the faster cast rate uh, that you might necessarily want, but quite honestly, I mean, if you're not looking for faster cast rate, if you just want, like, a higher enchant um, and you want to keep your mercenary alive, this is a whole different story. Um, we can, of course, upgrade this, though. And uh, that is the really cool thing about these armors, these nightmare-level armors, is they can be upgraded into their elite forms. Now, because this particular one is a really low-level armor, um, or low-tier armor, let me say. Um, it's basically the bottom-tier armor of the uh, of all the tier sets. It's going to have a really nice strength requirement um, when we upgrade it. Uh, so to upgrade it, you're going to need a limb, a co, and a perfect diamond. Um, and uh, that is going to take us from 295 defense, 38 strength, level 28, to 967 defense, not bad at all. 77 strength requirement, absolutely fine, and level 56. As you can see, a really solid upgrade there for the Spirit Shroud. Um, quite honestly, it goes up very nice in the defense, goes up very nice in the, um, you know, and just in the usability category. Um, the strength requirement doesn't go up so high that it's untenable. 77 is, is low enough for most characters with absolute ease. And uh, 50, level 56 is also very low. Uh, which makes this still a mid-tier armor, even when it's upgraded to its an elite form, which is very, very nice. Uh, now, the ethereal version also can be upgraded with a Lem, a Co, and a Perfect Diamond. And uh, this is going to go from 442 defense, 28 strength, level 28, to 1,375 defense, pretty nice, uh, 67 strength requirement, and level 56. So as you can see, the Spirit Shroud grows... The Spirit Shroud Ghost Armor uh, does upgrade very well to the Spirit Shroud Dusk Shroud, and, uh, and quite honestly is a solid find, especially if you find it in the Ethereal version, can, and it can be used very nicely on a lot of mercenaries, uh, where you would want plus the skills and cannot be frozen together with a decent amount of defense. Now, one of the big downsides of this armor is that it is the lowest tier armor on the list, and what that means is that your character is going to practically look like he's naked when you're using it. Um, as you can see, there's very little change from literally being naked and putting on the spirit trap. Um, you get some shoulder pauldrons. Um, I think that's literally it, just the shoulder pauldrons. So, like, there's pretty much no change except for the shoulder pauldrons between this and being naked. Whereas when you put on something like this, you know, it's like, bam. Rah. Hey, look, he's got the same shoulder pauldrons. When he's wearing the Templar coat, look, it's the same ones. <laughs> uh, so who could get good use out of this? Well, anybody who wants plus the skills who doesn't necessarily need 
uh, faster cast rate. So like a Trap Assassin, a uh, Necromancer. Don't some, Most Necromancers don't necessarily need faster cast rate, um, unless you're like a Bone Spear Necromancer. Um, you know, there's tons of different characters who could definitely utilize plus to skills, like Paladins and Barbarians and and whatnot, who would definitely like to have a little bit of Cannot Be Frozen. And um, and this would also help out, of course, your Mercenary. Like, for instance, if you're using a Might Merc, you can get one more skill on the Might Merc Aura to get a little bit more damage output. Um, you know, you could put this on the Act 3 Merc, so he could have plus one to skills and Cannot Be Frozen. Uh, the Act 5 Merc could you honestly use it very well. Honestly, all the Mercenaries can use this very well. Um, it is a very nice one in place of the um, Durial Shell, and certain Mercenaries actually have really nice resistances. I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this, but the Act 3 Merc now has the best resistances out of all the Mercenaries, so they don't necessarily need the resistances from Durial Shell anymore, where they do actually kind of need the plus to skills. So it's a solid choice for a lot of Mercs um, as you're leveling up, especially since it's a, a really low level at level 28, and then uh, you can upgrade it once to level 56, and then by the time you end up, uh, you know, toward the end game around level 70, level 80, you can replace it with something that, you know, would be more, you know, GG end game gear stuff. Uh, but the Spirit spirit Shroud, Dusk Shroud, especially in its ethereal form, is a very nice find. And speaking of finding it, let's go over to Silo's Pen, and let's take a look at the Drop Chance Calculator. Because uh, we want to figure out where exactly we could potentially find this item and um, what to farm. All right, so here we are over on uh, Silo's Pen. And uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to pretend we have about 100% magic find. Because this is a level 28 item. And uh, we really want to get an idea of you know, how easy this is to find as a low-level character. Uh, so, ignore, ignoring quest flags, because of course those don't mean anything, we are looking at the only one that matters, which is Andariel in Nightmare at 1 in 610. Now, at level 28, you might have a little bit of trouble actually farming her. Um, level 28 is a little low for Nightmare and Dariel. Let's see if there's anybody else. Uh, we do have Normal Bale at 1 in 628, which is... Honestly, not that much better than uh, Nightmare and Dariel. The only real difference between farming normal Bale and Nightmare and Dariel is, is really that Nightmare and Dariel is going to ha have more resistance issues because, of course, you have the penalties in Nightmare. So when you're farming in normal difficulty, you don't have those penalties. Let's take a quick look and see just what normal difficulty monsters can potentially drop this. Uh, so Diablo in normal. Uh, 1 in 1,966 with 100% magic find. Uh, that is actually not bad, and normal Diablo is relatively easy to farm for a level 28 character. Um, I would definitely say that's a, a solid choice, just simply because, number one, he's the ease of access of him is very, very uh, easy to get to. Um, he's very easy to farm for most characters around that level, and, uh, and you can obviously use him to level up. Um, and by the time you end up getting your Spirit Shroud or you end up gearing up your character with other items that you find from Normal Diablo, um, you should be more than powerful enough to move on to Nightmare Andy, and then you can farm Nightmare Andy as well. Uh, let's take a look and see if there's any super uniques in Normal Difficulty. Um, Frozen Stein and the Frozen River, which you're going to you're gonna go there anyway to get the, uh, the scroll. Uh, Pindle Skin in Normal can drop it at 1 in 8,000. Not exactly the best chance, but you can farm him over and over again. Um, it looks like uh, there's pretty good options here. I mean, you could do Shank the Overseer. Pretty crappy odds. Uh, you could do Doc Farron, and then you could also do Thresh Socket and Pindle Skin. And uh, Frozen Sign is a little bit more difficult to get to. Uh, but nice little combination there. And then let's take a look real quick and see what the best probability is for everything. Uh, looks like the Cow King and Nightmare is your best probability there, and then also a pretty good chance from the Cow King in Hell. And then uh, same thing for the bosses. Um, you know, it does seem like Andariel in Nightmare is pretty much your best bet. And then you also have a pretty decent chance at Mephisto in Nightmare. So, you know, it, honestly, what I would do is if you're a low-level character, I'd farm normal Diablo, and then once you've gotten your character up a little bit and you're you're more powerful... Um, and you can take on, uh, you know, Nightmare and Dariel, then, then by all means farm Nightmare and Dariel instead, because it does seem like she is the better choice as far as drop rate. Um, but, uh, but normal Diablo is definitely going to be the easier option for most players around the, the level that you would actually want to get this piece of equipment. Um, bink! 
<laughs> As always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, um, even when we are talking about a spirit shroud. And uh, keep watching.